subtle skills, big results. Welcome to the Ninja Selling Podcast. Welcome back, ninjas. This is the last podcast for August. I'm happy you threw in August. I'm like, last podcast? I'm like, dude, are you quitting? <laughs> we have a special announcement to make. This is the last episode that we're we're putting out there for August of 2022. And this kind of happens every year, but it got lost a little bit the past two years, Garrett. So the topic that I think we're going to just kind of discuss is timely. And many of you are probably already experiencing this already. But before we dive into it, just a quick reminder to check out our podcast community. It's interesting, Garrett. I'm looking at some of the people who we've been accepting in and they're like, oh, well, I just found out about it. I've been listening to your podcast for a long time. And I was like, well, do you not listen to the front? But I guess we don't mention it that much. So go over to facebook.com slash groups slash the Ninja Selling Podcast and join our community because it's amazing. We're approaching 9,000 people at this point and there's amazing questions in there. Garrett and I are in there. Larry Kendall's in there. The coaches and instructors are in there. And if you have questions about Ninja or kind of almost anything, you can throw it in there and you're going to have a lot of people sharing some advice and, and talking you through some stuff. So it's a great community. I think you should check it out. So head over to facebook.com slash group slash the ninja selling podcast. Garrett, today's topic, you had brought this up and I love it because I love roller coasters. And the best part of the roller coaster is when you're at the top, right? And you're getting ready and you're like, oh, here we go. It is the most exciting time. It's funny. I, I talk about this with the people that I coach usually every year just to kind of get And You're right. The last two years have really been a kind of a weird place of like, well, everybody knows it hasn't been normal. We'll leave it, leave it at that. It's just the never ending. Just <laughs> it's like, are we going to do a loop de loop or something? Please just screaming downhill. But typically what we've seen in the past, and we're starting to see it right now, and I think it's freaking a lot of people out because they haven't seen it in a while. And there's a lot of people coming in that don't understand this kind of the cycles that a lot of you know marketplaces go into. August in general for me has always been a time of, okay, let's step back for a second. Let's analyze what's going on. And if you're on a roller coaster, anybody who's listening who's ever been on a roller coaster, show of hands if you've ever been on a roller coaster. If you love roller coasters, keep your hand up. If you if you really love roller coasters, put your other hand up. Because that's what you do on a roller coaster. But there's a lot of people out there that, you know, when you look at a roller coaster, okay, so you, you leave the station, you get to go up, you know, you do a climb, you drop down the first climb, you get to do loops and some fun stuff and rip around corners. And then there's a point in the roller coaster where you start making a climb again. You do the second climb. And in that second climb, if we look at it, that relates back to kind of in the months of the year and you're in business and working, it's August. And everybody goes, oh my gosh, what's going on? Every year, what's going on? Inventory starting to rise. Things are a little bit quieter. What's happening right now? And you know that noise, you can all hear that noise when that roller coaster kind of goes and then starts clicking in and it locks in as you're going up the second climb. That click, click click, click as you're going up. This is where we have been in August of 2022 right now. We are seeing it again for the first time really strong since 2019. 2018 was the last time people really got to hear that clicking sound as you start ramping up in August. And then you get to the top and it's right at the end. It's right where we're currently have just come through. People have got their kids back in school. They are getting back in a normal life. They're stopping all their vacations. Everything is all of a sudden locked in to send us back down the other side of this roller coaster for one screaming ride all the way back down to the end of the, the end of the year to start the new year and start clicking up the other side again. And that happens right around the holidays. You know, everything kind of gets a little strange. Things, you know, all of a sudden things are a little bit different through that time. That's when you're kind of coming into the station, resetting, going back up understand what this is right now. And that's the biggest thing that I want to share with everybody is understand where we are in the year. Because if you understand and you can own it, it's just tremendous opportunity. Instead of getting freaked out, instead of going, oh, crap, what's going on? And so, Matt, that's why I kind of wanted to throw this into the arena today. We have done a podcast about this, which is before 2020. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've definitely talked about this before. And, and I... 
personally think that the fall quote fall market is going to be really, really active, like surprisingly active for a whole number of reasons that we even talked about when we were at guide camp, even Rebecca Lorenz was sharing some stuff. She's our mortgage ninja person. And I'm just like, it, all things point to people like being really, really active in the fall again. And I think too, part of it is this inventory climb a little bit. It's getting buyers a little bit more excited. Like, Ooh, like we're going to have some more stuff to choose from. Let's get it back out there and do it. And so I love this analogy of the roller coaster. And I had a conversation with an agent just yesterday and two weeks ago it was, Oh gosh, I feel like nobody's buying anything. All my listings are sitting around. And then just two weeks later, it's like, Hey, how's business? Oh, great. Got a couple of buyers under contract, received a referral, already have them under contract. I'm getting offers on my listings. And I said, okay, so a little bit different than two weeks ago. Yeah, it is. And it's like, okay. You know, in that market, we probably already started to peak over too. And I think it depends on where you're sitting on the roller coaster. You know, if you're like at the front car, you get that kind of interesting, like you get a look down before you start going. You're like, oh, it's coming. Let's look at that. What puts you in the front seat of that car? Well, you chose to get into it. Well, you chose to get into it, but I'm going to look at it as like, if you're really, if you're really connected in your database, in your marketplace, if you're really active of paying attention to what's going on, you're probably in the front seat of the car. You have a good, robust, warm list. Your hot list is strong and you're coming over that and you're, you're looking down and you can see it's coming, right? But we haven't gone yet because that back car is still stuck on the, uh, the clicking, right? You all know who's in the back going like, oh man, it's starting to pick up speed, but we're still going uphill. Like we're still, we're still kind of cresting. Right. Or they don't even see. They're like, wait, how is this happening? Like, I can't even see what's coming. And then all of a sudden they're just getting pulled along. Right. Oh, that's a really good analogy. We just walked into an amazing analogy of people in the marketplace and how they're interpreting what's going on. You all know who's in the front car out there. You know, other business owners, realtors in the front there that you look to, to go, they're my cue. Those are the people that are like, how are they doing? Like, I'm not seeing, they're doing business, but I'm not seeing it yet. Well, here could be why, right? And most people are in the middle, right? Most people, I mean, there can only be one front car, one last car. So most of us are in the middle. And let me put it this way too, Garrett, if you are not experiencing this yet, if it, this is the end of August, if you are like, oh, I'm, I still feel like I'm on the climb, get ready because it's coming. You're, you might be sitting towards the back or maybe in your marketplace, you know, we're still climbing up, but it's coming. I know it's coming. Well, here's the thing, Matt, this is nothing new. Right. Well, then that's why we know. Yeah, it's like, this is nothing new. If you've been watching this and paying attention to it for many, many, many years, I joke all the time. It's like, it's, the longer you coach, the more you are like, oh, we're having this conversation again. Oh, that's right. It's this time of the year. Yep. Here we go. This is the things you need to be thinking about. And it's like, yep, we're just, just hit replay. COVID messed some things up. We had a couple of years of some new dialogues, new new conversations. A few things. Just a couple. But looking at this time right now, I'm starting to watch these trends come back in. And it's interesting to see who hasn't or who's lost sight of the trends or who's just, you know, has their blinders on when it comes to their business. And it's just going day to day to day going, okay, new day. Where's the business? New day. What am I doing? Where's the business? New day. Instead of really paying attention to how do these how does the kind of the normal marketplace work? And again, I mean, I know about it. We're going to talk about it on an upcoming podcast about, you know, you know, my my time right now of experiencing this whole sending kids off to college and what does this all look like? And and I'm checked out. Like any extracurricular kind of stuff out there, paying attention to what's going on or what's the right time to buy or sell. August is the month that everybody's like. I'm checked out. I got other stuff going on. And that's why this is that climb up the roller coaster. And I, I want to relate this back to the podcast that kind of started the month. Well, I guess I'm looking at our list here. The podcast that started the month was abundance versus scarcity. But the second podcast, consistency with the Ninja 9. As you're getting ready to come down the other side, some people could be having this experience of like, I'm not ready for this. Oh no, like what do I have to do to get prepared? I'm not ready. I don't want to go down the other side. Like I I'm just not ready yet. And you don't have to do all of the things, right? Just 
key right back into your Ninja 9. If you haven't been doing it, it's okay. That's yesterday. Today is today. This week is this week. Start to focus on the people that are the priority in your database, which is your hot and your warm list for sure. That's why it's part of the Ninja 9. Look at those things every day. And then it's your raving fans. Just start there, right? If you're feeling that anxiousness of, I don't know, I'm not ready, or I don't believe you, we're not going down the other side. It's like, well, maybe you didn't get on the roller coaster in the first place and you're standing there watching it. If you want to hop on, start talking to your people, focus on your flow, plain and simple, right? When the business comes in, you'll be able to handle it. You have the ninja processes. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. And I got to go back to kind of what the analogy we stumbled into is, is that it's one thing to be on the train or be on the roller coaster. It's another thing to be in, you know, somebody that is able to see what's going to be happening and what's going on. And there are different people out there that are kind of going, are we going to be okay? Is this, what's going to happen? What does this all mean? And I'm just going to say, you're probably later back in the, in the cars on the roller coaster if you are. Well, and to put the roller coaster analogy, like, do you want to be on the log flume or do you want to be standing on the bridge getting splashed? Because it's coming. Oh, uh, yeah, this great picture of just a bunch of realtors standing on the bridge going, Draw! just getting just blasted with water. Like, what happened? Oh, yeah, that was that was the marketplace that just ripped past you. And you know what? The, the fall market does feel like it goes by so fast, right? I mean, our perspective of time is very interesting, right? Because time is time, it's very static and we don't need to get into all of this stuff. But I feel like a lot of people fly through the fall faster than the spring because you have all of the, like there's a lot of things that happen. I mean, September is really the only month that like nothing happens other than let's just do business. And then you have October, we got all of our fall festivals. We got all of our client parties that we do in October. We got Halloween that comes up, then it's Thanksgiving and then it's Christmas and we got to think about gifts and all this stuff. And so it really can all of a sudden go by in a splash like that. And we want to be ready for it. There's a reason, you know, the, the, you can talk to a lot of people out there and they'll say late third quarter, fourth quarter is where a lot of business happens. That's where I kind of make my year a lot of the times. And a lot of it is, is that, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We've got a lot of conversations that need to happen about how is summer? How is it dropping your kids off at school? Like a lot of great relationship building stuff right now, which then just tips at the top of the roller coaster down the down the backside there where it's like, oh, yeah. And by the way, we need help with this. We need help with that. Like, hey, do you know somebody who can help my friend out with this? These are the opportunities that are going to come out of all of these great relationships right now. Don't get lost in the lack of business of going like, oh, or the slower kind of business is like sitting back and saying, okay, well, I'm just going to kind of wait till things pick back up. It's like, no, 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 no. Your activities right now is what's going to make it pick back up. I don't want anybody just sitting there going like, oh, Garrett and Matt say it's going to be okay. I can just sit back. The roller coaster is just going to take off and all of a sudden we're going to have tons of business. No, 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 no. You need to engage. This is where Matt was saying, like, go back to the Ninja 9, go back to your systems, get back into a really solid plan here right now, because this is what's going to unlock all those great opportunities. And people have stuff to talk about. If you look at what we've been saying, it's like, this is the first summer that people really got in three years. This is their first one back. And everybody that I've talked to has had some pretty cool adventures. They have gone and take trips that they've been wanting to take. There are family reunions that have been put off for three years and finally all the families getting back together. My great friend, David Baslaw, has been sending me pictures after pictures after pictures of celebrating his mom's, or as he says, his mom's 90th birthday and being up in Toronto with her and being able to you know, be in space with her again because they really haven't been able to get up to see her. And just the joy and the energy around him of just being with this mom, mom, sorry, David, but this is real life that everybody's going through right now. And most of us don't realize that that real life, those real conversations, getting him to celebrate and share with you that time that he spent is actually what unlocks the business down the backside of the roller coaster. So don't get lost in this. I'm searching for business. I'm searching for business. I'm searching for business. Look at, I've got all these great people that are experiencing life and I need to share their life with them. I need to figure out what's exciting for them about their world, what's going on. There's too many great stories. 
And that will naturally lead to them saying, hey, by the way, can you help us with such and such? That's the backside of the roller coaster. Too many great stories. David Baslow is in Eugene, Oregon, everybody. If you need an amazing real estate agent, as I, if I'm going to talk about him, Eugene, Oregon, David Baslow. Two thumbs up. Oh, man. So I, I, I was thinking, too, as we pull this together, like just going back to our conversation with Sarah Johnston, what was that? late 2020 or early 2021 of flattening the curve and her sharing her flow calendar and activities. Like if you're feeling this intense up and down roller coaster, go back and search for that podcast and listen to that. And, you know, it could be that our flow is not consistent throughout the year. We're not saying you can't take times off and do all that stuff. Not at all. But you do have to have a plan and a program and execute on it in order to experience the fun part of the roller coaster, right? Because there are market cycles. We don't want to be surprised. There's no time off anymore, Matt. We're working all the way through now. That, that's the new That's the new norm. We are just working. That's what we learned during COVID. No days off. Work's the best. Well, when you work from home now, you don't need vacation, right? It's just work from home. It's like the, the underlying secret of all these corporations are like, excellent. We can get rid of vacation time because you work from home. You're always on vacation, right? You're already home. You already technically already having a day off. Did you get to see your kids today? Count it a day off. Yeah. We better pull this one together before we go down a rabbit hole here. <laughs> we could. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. We apologize. Oh man. My mind's racing. So get on the roller coaster. That's going to be the most fun. Get in flow. Be ready for this fall. I think that all the market indicators that I look at all the different things, the different reports that people are coming out with. Like, I'm not talking about the headlines. I'm talking about the actual data and what people are saying that kind of do the research on this. I'm looking towards a great fall market here. A really fun, okay, maybe we're not going to sell as many homes as last year. It's still going to be strong. And I think it's going to be dynamic. And I think the agents, we talked about this in June. People have been putting in the work. We're talking about putting that gap on. Here we go. This is where all of that work starts to pay off. So buckle up. I'll add in with this that the people that I'm watching that are fully engaged with their database right now, that are fully working their sphere of influence and being in flow with them and connect with them, I am watching pretty exceptional warm list and hot list building right now. And that is your precursor to the people needing help with business. So it's not that everybody's sitting around out there not having any life changes and not, not really doing a whole lot of real estate right now. The life changes are what you want to be paying attention to because that's the, it's like the fuse before the firework goes off. You just kind of watch and you're like, ooh, there's a sign, there's a sign, there's a sign, there's another sign, and there's another one. And that's where you need to get your confidence in where this marketplace is going right now, not looking for, oh, are we watching any sales happen yet? Are we, by the time that happens, we're already going. We're going down the, the backside of this roller coaster. So start looking for the signs up front right now, which is all the life changes that cause real estate to happen. And if you're doing it right, you should have a very large warm list coming into this time. It's going to start turning into a hot list, which is people then saying, hey, you know what? Funny we're talking. I actually need help with such and such, which then turns into your business. So uh, with that being said, Matt, we're good? I think we're good, man. I'm 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 ready. I'm excited. I'm lo I'm looking down. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hands are already up, right? Like when you're in the front car, your hands are up. You're screaming before you're even moving. You're like, yeah, yeah. That's what's going on right now. That's me. To all of you that kept your hands up for the entire podcast today, I want to say thank you for participating and being with us on this ride. If any of you want to learn more about Ninja Selling and what this all means and the installations that we teach and how we help people down this path, go check us out at ninjaselling.com. You can also check us uh, out for coaching under ninjaselling.com so you can learn more about what we're doing there and how we're helping people with their businesses and grow their businesses and achieve their goals. And if you want to go join our podcast community, go to Facebook, go into groups, and look at the Ninja Selling Podcast. And there you will find us. You will find a group of about 9,000 people. I am amazed, Matt, every time I go in there and check some of the analytics, there are many days that there are 3,500 people active in that group, which is staggering to me that we have that kind of participation happening on a daily basis. 
with that being said, I want to say thank you to everybody, Matt, as always, thank you to you. So grateful to be able to spend this time with you this morning and with all of you and uh, make it a great day. Ditto. Thank you, Garrett. Thanks, everyone. If you enjoyed today's episode and would like more, visit us at the ninjasellingpodcast.com. There you will also find links for more information about ninja selling and coaching. Have an incredible day.